Welcome! Today I'll be showing you how to play PlayStation 2 games on the PC using PCSX2. PCSX2 is a PlayStation emulator for Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. All instructions and links will be in the description for your convenience. Firstly, what you'll want to do is have an ISO file of the game you want to play. I can't tell you where to download the ISO file, but Google is your friend. Remember, you need an ISO file. So if you get a 7-zip file or a RAR file, you can use 7-zip or a similar application to extract it. We need to get the emulator now, so go to PCSX2.net, like so. Now, hover over the download and choose Windows if you have a Windows operating system. Scroll to the PCSX2 standalone installer and click Download in the lower right corner. You should now be downloading the PCSX2 installer. Once your download of the installer is finished, click on it. Click Run. Click Next. Then Install. Once it says Completed over the bar, click Close. Now you need the BIOS file for PCSX2. I can't tell you where to get it, but Google is still your friend. But let's say you already have the BIOS file. If it's in a 7-zip file, you can just right-click and extract if you have 7-zip or WinRAR. Now right-click on the PCSX2 shortcut on the desktop and click Open File Location. Now move the BIOS folder into that directory. Now run the desktop shortcut by double-clicking on it. Go down and click Next. Now go to Use Default Settings and uncheck it. Click Browse. Go to Computer, then Local Disk, Program Files, and PCSX2 and then click BIOS. Now click on USA version 2.2. Don't worry if you use PAL or are from Europe this won't affect you. Now to choose your controls select the config tab, go to the controllers and click plugin settings. Choose the pad 1 tab and this is where you can input controls for your gamepad or keyboard and mouse. After you've set everything up go to the C DVD tab and go to ISO selector and click browse. This is where you want to choose the ISO file you have. Now click on system and reboot CDVD. Your game should be starting. If you want to decrease lag or increase graphical quality, stick around for a short configuration tutorial. To decrease lag, go to the config and click emulation settings. Go to the speed hacks tab and if you have three or more cores, check MTVU. This is usually very safe. In the cycle rate, you can usually go to the 2 value like so and be pretty safe. In VU cycle stealing, try to go only to the 1 value. If nothing else worked, go to the VUs and try Super VU Recompiler on both VU0 and VU1. At last resort, you can click Preset at the bottom of any tab and slide to 6. Try to keep the value here as low as possible though. Try to keep all of those settings as low as possible if you can. Although these are speedups, they can also cause bugs, crashes, and incompatibilities. Also, if none of the tweaks work, then it's most likely your hardware, but you can also download the right versions of DirectX, C++, Net Framework, and your video card drivers if you haven't. All of those will be in the description. Well, that's all for this video. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If you want, you can always request more content, and I'll usually make videos about whatever you'd want. Within reason, of course. See ya.